Hello, it's Alex here. Welcome back to my channel. We're here, as always, to talk about sewing. Um, and we're living in really unusual times, aren't we? Um, it's taken me a few days to get back in my sewing room and to even think about making a video because my head has been all over the place. I'm sure lots of you are feeling much the same. Uh, but now I'm here, I really do want it to be business as usual. I think that too much social media, too much checking in on the news is not good for any of us. So it's, I think it would be impossible for me not to mention it at all, um, but it's certainly not going to be the focus of my channel for the next little while. Um, I am going to be my making videos that are a little bit different from normal because I have got the family all at home. We are semi self isolating in that we are only leaving the house to walk the dogs. Um, I think some of the family are thinking of going for a bike ride um, and to buy food. And other than that, that is it. So. Um, that means I've got a house full. Uh, so I've decided the easiest thing is for me to relocate down here in the basement in my sewing room. And that's also why I'm trying out using a lapel mic this time so that we don't pick up the rest of the family upstairs uh, doing all of their thing. So um, we are all fine. Uh, everybody is at home except for my oldest daughter who is recovering from a cold. So until she's got over that she's not going to come home but hopefully that will be in the next few days and that's it unless anything changes um, I'm going to talk about sewing. My immediate plan for today is to get on with sewing a Mandy Boat tee and that has come directly from being completely influenced by Instagram I had a little look on Instagram yesterday and um, two ladies uh, that I know who are both really lovely, Sam and Lisa, who on Instagram are Frugalissima and what's Lisa called? Something about Mabel and a mannequin. Maybe it's Mabel's, I'll put a title. Um, they sort of spontaneously decided to call yesterday International Mandy Boat Tea Day. And if you don't know, the Mandy Boat Tea uh, is a free sewing pattern from Tasuti Patterns. And yeah, it's a boat neck t-shirt. Um, originally, it only came in one size and I did make it when it was one size only. Um, and in more recent times, they've now issued uh, three size options. It's really easy to make. It's very quick. Um, it takes a smidge over a meter of Jersey fabric. And uh, when I saw Sam posting that yesterday, I thought, yeah, that's the perfect thing to get me back in the sewing room. Quick and easy. It's not gonna use up a lot of fabric and it will just literally get my bum back on this seat. So it wasn't until about early evening last night that I um, cut it out. So it's cut out, ready to go. I put the picture on Instagram and <laughs> Janet of uh, last season's Sewing Bee fame said that it the shade was goose turd green. Well, thank you very much, Janet. Um, I thought it was brilliant. Anyway, to be honest, that was more my photograph. Uh, it's more like a mustard, really. Um, I think, yeah, look, it's greeny mustard. Maybe it is goose turd green. I don't know. Anyway, I love it. Um, so it's all cut out, ready to go. I think, I can't swear, I think I bought this fabric from Fabworks. It was in my stash. Um, so the majority of it is made on the overlocker uh, with a bit of top stitching, which I'm still not going to do on my cover stitch machine. I'll just do it with a twin needle. Um, so I'm going to do that. It shouldn't take long. So when I've done it, I will pop back and show you uh, me wearing it. Um, but yeah, if you are in the same kind of mental state that I was in yesterday where, you know, anxiety was taking over, um, it's a good one. It's free. All you need is a tiny bit of jersey to be <laughs> knocking around. I mean, if you're like me, look, yeah, bit of a stash there. Um, 
so that's what I'm going to be getting on with first then I in the background there on the uh, delightful Clary aka an Aldi um, what are those things called you know mannequin thing um, I did what I was hoping would be a wearable toile of the Monty shirt which is my one of my next tops designed for the great module sew along it's this one here from Stylark um, and because my plan is to use this um, silk that Dave bought me back from Hong Kong about a year ago um, I didn't want to make it straight off in the silk because yeah this feels like quite sort of special fabric um, so I did a version out of the Cupro that I dyed in one of it might even have been my first ever video anyway very early days I dyed some Cupro um, and I've made it out of that and it fits really well I like it very much um, I'll go and get it but the reason I'm not wearing it is I didn't have any buttons for it um, so I'm waiting to put some buttons on I decided that if going to buy food was um, a reason to leave the house and I did have to go and get some food today um, then a quick run into Abercarns to buy buttons was also allowed um, yeah certainly for the time being anyway so I went to get some buttons for it but I didn't take the fabric which is always a mistake and I remembered it as far redder than it really is so I bought this button and look, that's not going to work is it I've got this jar here of black and sort of dark grey ones so I'm going to dig some out of there and the buttons will just have to be uh, contrasting so they're going to look a little bit more like that as a wearable toile it seems crazy to have got to this point and not actually finish it so I'm going to find some buttons that match in there and get the buttonholes on this so I'll do those two things come back and show you but before I do I will also just show you very briefly the um, I have finished one of my other tops for the great module so long it's on my other what is the word for these things anyway it's on my other one this is the delightful bunty so named after the uh, young girls comic <laughs> um, and I've made it um, out of the crepe exactly the, as planned this is the one with the leopards on um, from Lulu Designs it's the wishing girl pattern so I've talked about that pattern before when I made the dress for the sewing bee it's the shirt version and it came together you know this is the one with the French instructions but having made it before wasn't an issue at the moment it looks like that on the inside and this is this interfacing here is just it's just so solid and unwieldy I mean it I mean you could argue I've just chosen interfacing that's too thick but I don't know I just don't like it very much so I think although um you know at the top it comes into here so there's not much I can do with the width there but I'm thinking I might taper it down and reduce it because it's at this uh, bottom of the V that it's kind of sticking up and I may even um, top stitch it down so those are my little jobs for uh, the rest of today and um, when I've got them done I'll pop back and show you where I'm at one Mandy boat tea completed. Um, it didn't take too long. I've managed to look. How's that for matching those stripes? Um, I've managed to do it all up the sleeves. Um, so that's really good. Really, really pleased with it. The fits. I mean, it's supposed to be nice and boxy. When I made the one years ago, that was one size fits all. That was definitely too big. Um, so this is the size two which is small to medium which I'd say is about spot on for me so yeah it comes with a three-quarter length sleeve option this is the long sleeve 
Um, I've pushed it up a bit. Is that? I mean, actually, yeah, it's about right. Um, I think it probably is more of a goose turd green than a mustard. Anyway, um, and then just for a bit of fun, I popped outside and my husband took a photograph of me by our side wall um, to do the pose like a model thing. So yeah, that was fun. Um, so yeah, and Sam, um, AKA Frugalissima's top tip on Instagram yesterday was to sew a label in the back because the front and the backs are look very similar. So I took her advice and I did that, uh, but I can't show you because I'm wearing it. So yeah, and then while I was doing that, in between overlocking, I watched a couple of uh, YouTube videos. I watched now, she's called The Daily So Society. Kristen, uh, she is, um, well, she did give me a mention on the video I just watched, so maybe I'm a bit biased, but I really enjoy, I found her quite recently. I've really enjoyed watching her uh, YouTube videos. She was very positive about supporting um, female-led businesses in the sewing community, which I mention frequently myself. So. I'm all for that. Uh, she's in Melbourne. So uh, she's often sitting in her garden and that, I don't know, a bit of escapism. Feels very nice to see somebody in a completely different um, climate and to know that they're, uh, you know, sewing people were all around the world and yet all connecting. It's, I don't know, something about that that's really nice. So it's nice to have some positivity at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I watched her and I also watched my beloved Caroline Hirons, who is uh, all about skincare. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and have uh, coffee number 352 today and get on with these buttons on this um, twelve. Buttons are all on. I wish I had found some that matched a bit better rather than having to use these black ones. Um, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. This is, after all, only supposed to be a wearable toile. And I did make the mistake of pressing this before putting the buttons on. So um, when I've washed it, that I'm not worried about that really, that will get sorted. Um, however, I, I really like the pattern, not done this one before. It's unusual in that the top half, so from sort of here, from this seam upwards, um, is one piece going into this little short sleeve or cap sleeve arm. Um, and then the lower part is um, obviously a separate piece. So you could do some messing around with stripes, you know, some going one way and some going another way, and then you've got the pockets. I think this has got the potential to be a really good um, spring, summer kind of wardrobe staple. However, I've got a question for you. Tell me what you think. Before I go um, to make the silk version, I'm wondering about the position of these pockets. Now I've gone back on the Stylark website and I think mine are a little bit lower. I don't know. I don't think there's a lot in it, but I'm a bit concerned. So tell me what you think. So these pocket flaps, I think, are a bit, uh, I don't know. I'm just wondering whether they could do with being a bit higher up. The problem, of course, is if they are, because that's all one piece, that's going to affect the sleeve. Um, so I don't know whether I'm just overthinking it or not. So, lengthwise. So that's the length with the seven centimetres added, and I think I might add just a tiny, tiny bit more. That's just personal preference. Um, overall, I'm really pleased with it. Maybe I'm overthinking the pockets. Tell me what you think. I won't start the silk one until I get some feedback. Slight change of plan. I was going to um, amend this um, facing here and make it uh, a little bit narrower especially down the bottom there where it was poking out um, but I'm not going to do that I'm going to wait because I've got white thread on my overlocker and this was all done with black um, it'll irritate me if I do it with white um, every time I come to wear it and I've no doubt that that overlocker will get re-threaded some point in the next few days so I'm going to wait um, there's no hurry for it it's not like I'm going anywhere is it um, so I'm going to hold on with that. I'll be back soon. It may even be tomorrow. I'm 
see how I do. Uh, when I do come back, I am going to talk about the Swatch Club. Um, do you remember I said that I'd had a sneaky peek at the um, Swatch Club box from Lulu Designs? And they've made a few changes since they uh, gave me this one, which is the prototype. And they've sent me my own box now in the post. It has been gifted to me, um, but I haven't actually opened it yet. Um, I was kind of saving it, really. Um, so I'm going to do that tomorrow uh, or next time I'm here and um, show you what's inside it and what I'm up to next time. All right. Keep safe. Bye.